Welcome again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 6, right on through to the end of the chapter, verse 16. Wisdom from the Spirit. We seek wisdom, Paul writes. However, Among those who are full grown, yet a wisdom not of this world, nor of the rulers of this world, who are coming to nothing. What a powerful point. The rulers of this world. You think about this. Think about some powerful people in the world right now today. The scripture says they're coming to nothing. But we speak God's wisdom in a mystery. The wisdom that has been hidden, which God foreordained before the worlds for our glory which none of the rulers of this world had known. For had they known it, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. Little side note here. In the beginning, when sin entered into the world, the serpent tempted Eve to take the fruit down from the tree. It says Eve saw the fruit, that it was pleasing to the eyes, pleasant to the eyes, good for food and desirable to make one wise. There we have the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. The fruit, which is symbolic of Jesus, came down off the tree, which is symbolic of the cross, for wisdom. God took the fruit, Jesus, and put him back up on the tree, the cross, through the opposite of wisdom, the inversion of the Garden of Eden, because of the foolishness of the rulers of the world, Not the wisdom of the rulers of the world, but the foolishness, the ignorance, as it says in the book of Acts, of the rulers of this world. Christ was crucified. But as it is written, quote, things which the eye didn't see and an ear didn't hear, which didn't enter into the heart of man, these God has prepared for those who love him. That's found in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4. But to us, God revealed them through the Spirit. You know, there are a lot of people out there that, you know, they say, eye is not seen, ear is not heard, you know, all this stuff about, you know, God works in mysterious ways as if, you know, that all these ways of God, no one really understands, no one really knows. That's not what the Scripture says. The Scripture says that eye is not seen, ear is not heard, you know, the mind is not conceived, but God has revealed them to us. Us, meaning those who are truly born again, truly regenerated in the Spirit. It is possible to know the mysteries of God by the Spirit. God can reveal them to you. But to us, God revealed them through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For who among men knows the things of a man except the Spirit of the man, which is in him? Even so, No one knows the things of God except God's Spirit. So knowing God's Spirit and being able to discern and to hear God's Spirit is like knowing God's own mind. Verse 12, But we received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is from God, that we may know the things that were freely given to us by God. See, that's one of the purposes of the Spirit of God so that we may know the things that God has given to us. The gifts of God, the spiritual gifts. Verse 13, We also speak these things, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Now the natural man doesn't receive the things of God's Spirit, for they are foolishness to him, and he can't know them. He can't know them because they are spiritually discerned. That's why Jesus said, He who has an ear, let him hear. A lot of people don't have spiritual ears. A lot of people don't really hear. They don't really understand. And indeed, they can't. It doesn't matter how much you tell them. It doesn't matter how much you teach them. They are not able to understand. Verse 15, but he who is spiritual discerns all things, and he himself is judged by no one. In other words, the people of this world who are not spiritually discerned, the people of this world that don't really know God, although most people say they do, (laughs) the people who really don't know God, they can't discern the spiritual things that the spiritual man says. 
That's what it means by he's judged by no one because they don't understand what he says. They can't really judge it. They can't really understand it. Verse 16, for who has known the mind of the Lord that he should instruct him? Isaiah chapter 40, verse 13. But we have Christ's mind. And you will get to know the mind of the Lord more and more as you seek him. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. And if you call upon him, he will answer you and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.